Hey everyone, today we're going to be building a React application using Material UI and React Router. The application is going to have a side nav bar that's going to allow you to navigate to different pages, and React Router is going to handle our writes. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go into the terminal and we're going to use Create React App. I'm just going to call this app Material UI React Router. Now the Create React app is finished, I'm going to move into that directory and I'm going to hit npm start. And this is going to start a React application. And because we've used Create React app, it has Nodemon built in. We don't need to keep stopping and starting our application anytime we make changes. It's going to hot reload them and refresh the browser for us. Cool, so our application loads. The next thing I'm going to do is install some of the dependencies we need. So we're going to need Material UI Core, Material UI Icons, and React Writer DOM. These are the three dependencies we need. So I'm going to install them now. And I'm going to be using the terminal inside VS Code for this, but you can do that anywhere you want. So that's the three dependencies we need, Material UI Core, Material UI Icons, and React Writer DOM. Cool, so that's our dependencies finished installing. Now I'm just gonna make us be able to see both windows at the same time. So I'm gonna make this half and half. And the file we're gonna be working in is app.js. I'm pretty sure all of our changes are gonna be going in here. So I'm gonna close this up. As you can see, I'm just in the app.js file, the main React component. And I'm just going to clean this file up. I'm going to just return a div. Just an empty div to make sure everything's working. And it'll give us a good starting point also. Just to make sure everything's working. We can see now we just have the simpler React app and it gives us a good starting point. So now let's get going. So we're going to start off with some of the material UI stuff. So let's import some things that we need. So we're going to be using make styles. And that's coming from material UI core forward slash styles. And to use that, we're going to be going outside the function app and we're going to be saying const use styles equals make styles. We're going to pass in our theme. And then here we're going to be creating our styles basically. And then inside app, we're going to get the classes from these styles. Cool. So that's just a bit of setup. And now we might start off with React Router because the first element, the main element we're gonna be returning is the router because inside this is gonna have all of our routes and our links. So let's import some of the things we need from React Router. So we're gonna be using browser router as router, switch, route, and link. And these are all coming from React Writer DOM. And let's split this up a little bit so we can see. I can make this a bit smaller as well, might help. Cool. So these are the things that we're using from React Writer DOM. So now let's let's use them. So the first thing we're going to be returning is the router. That. and this is going to control all of the routes in our application so the layout of our application is we're going to have a kind of a side nav bar the whole way down that's going to be fixed and then we're going to have our content here so this means that we need a div to contain these two things and the div needs to have a display of flex so they can be displayed alongside each other not one on top of the other so to do that I'm going to make a new div here and style is going to equals display flex. 
We can close that out as well. And now we're ready to start creating our side nav bar. So Material UI has this really good element called a drawer, which is going to be perfect for what we need. And this is basically what it looks like here. And it's pretty common to see this in a lot of Material UI applications for navigation. So that's what we're going to be creating. Um, so yeah, let's start off with our drawer. And we need to import this, I guess, from Material UI. So let's do that here. So this is from Material UI core. So that should give us our drawer. And we need to also close it out like that. So now, what are the props we want to pass into drawer? So there's a few. First of all, we need to decide the width of the drawer. So let's say something like 240 pixels. Good, so that's the width. Um, and we're gonna make the variant persistent, which means it's just always gonna be there. To make it simple, we're not gonna to toggle it open and close. It's just gonna be always there. It's gonna be anchored to the left. And it's going to be open. And we also need to pass in some classes. So we need to pass in classes for paper. And we're just going to get this from the classes we define above. And we just call it drawer paper. And this class. It's just going to need a width of inherit. So it's going to inherit the width of its parent, which is going to be drawer, which is width 240 pixels. So that should work. Let's see what we're getting so far. OK, so we're missing something. And I also seem to be missing a bracket here, because that needs to be returned. So yeah, so now we can see we have this a kind of left navigation bar and it's 240 pixels long. This might be too too wide, so let's make it 220 instead. Cool. So now that we have this drawer, we need to start putting some things inside it. So inside a drawer, you need to give it a list. So we're gonna be getting a list from Material UI Core as well. And then we need list item. And we're going to need list item icon. And we're also going to need list item text. So that's the things that we're getting from Material UI Core so far. Down there, so you can see. So now let's bring this down. Actually, we're not going to need that again. So this will help you see. So now inside our drawer, before we've closed it out, we're going to return a list. And inside the list, we're going to have list items. So the first list item is going to be like this. And we just close that out. So this list item is going to have an icon and it's going to have text. So let's give it an icon. And what icon do we want to give it? Uh, I guess we're going to need a home page, right? So let's import a home page icon. So there's a good one in Material UI. We just call it home icon. And by the way, a good tip for this, whenever I'm getting icons from Material UI, there's a really good page you can visit and it will let you search for the icons. 
So here you can see I was looking for a home icon. So all that I did was look for home. And when you click here, it actually gives you the import like that. So that's the same thing that I have here. So now we want to use this icon. So let's put it inside the list item icon component. It's called home icon. Let's close that out. So now we should start to see something here. Yeah, we can see we have this cool home icon. So this thing isn't very responsive, even though it's inside the list item. So we want to make this list item a button because this will give us a lot of things for free, such as whenever we're hovering over it, it'll give us some feedback like this. So we just added the button onto the list item. So now that we have this list item icon, we want to have some text as well. So let's add list item text. And inside this text, what do we need to pass in? We can actually make it self-closing like this. And we can say primary. So the primary text of this is just going to be home. Cool. So that's our first list item, home. So that's really nice. So what do we need to do if somebody clicks on home? We need to basically route them to this home page, just the root for application. So to do that, we're going to wrap this whole list item in a link element. And link we imported from React Router DOM already up here. So let's just use that. And the link is going to be two. As we said, it's just going to write you to here, the root element and we can close it out. Uh, this should actually just be wrapping the list item, not the whole list. So we put it inside there, and then we close out the link. Cool, so now when we click here, it's writing us to the home page, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, but it's also added some style that we don't really want. It's added this blue text and an underline. So let's get rid of that. To do that, we're going to add a class, a class name here, and we're just going to use classes.link. And now up in our use styles, we can add this link. And we want to have text decoration none and color, so the text color. We're going to use theme.palette text dot primary cool let's bring this down so it's easy to see and now when we save this uh, this should get our new style yeah cool so now this looks pretty cool we have this home navigation item which brings us to the home page so now we kind of need to do the exact same thing for our second page. So let's use the second page, let's just call it about. So let's just copy everything from the link like this and paste it down. And this link to is going to be to about. And we need another icon. So let's go here and let's search for info. So this is going to give us this icon, which looks pretty cool, the info icon. And we can bring this over here and put it underneath our home icon. And now inside here, the about page is going to use this info item, info icon, like that. And now that we've saved, we should be able to see now we have these two page two links, which is cool. We need to change the text of the second one to about. And now we can test out the actual routing part. So whenever we click about, it brings us to forward slash about. If we click home, it brings us back to home. Cool. So this is a kind of our navigation part finished. So our whole drawer, we can close that out. And now we need to work on being able to show different content based on which page we're on. And this is where React Router comes in. So to control these routes, we're going to use the switch component. 
which is basically saying that only one of the routes is going to be returned. And again, this switch is coming from React Router DOM as we imported at the start. So now inside that switch statement, we're going to define our first route. And we're going to say that its path is exact. And this route is going to be shown whenever we're here. So this is for the home page. And we can close this out. And let's just put in here home. Let's do the same thing for about, just so we can see where we are. And this is going to be at this path, forward slash about. So now on the about page, you can see we have this about text. And on the home page, we have this home text. Cool. So this is starting to look good. Now we just want to make our content look a little bit better. So to begin with, it's probably wise to put this inside a container because a container in Material UI gives us some nice padding and stuff for free. So let's do that. So we're going to import container from Material UI core. And we're probably going to need typography as well um, because we might give it a heading and we might let, make this text look a little bit better. So first thing, let's put this inside a container. We're going to be doing the same thing again, except here. And change this to about. If we save, we'll see that we have some extra margin on the left here. Cool. So now let's, let's give it a heading and some text. So first of all, the heading, instead of this, we're going to be using a typography component. And the typography component Let's make it a H3 and we'll give it a gutter at the bottom. And close it out. And this is going to be home. So if we go to the home page now, we should see we have this heading. So let's do the same thing, put it inside about. And now let's copy this, put it underneath. But this time we're going to be not using variant H3, we're going to be using variant body one. So this is going to be the body, the, the body of our text. So let's get some lower map, some just some sample text, which will give us an idea of what it actually will look like. So let's just copy this first paragraph. And let's put it in here. If we save that and go back, we can see we have this text. So this is what our home page looks like. And let's do the same for about. Let's copy longer paragraph. And let's do the same thing. So we're going to do typography. Variant is body one, gutter bottom, close out our typography component, put in our text, close that out, and if we hit save, then this is our application. So as you can see, we have two different pages. We're using React Router, we're using Material UI, so it looks good. And this is a great start to any web application. So I'll put the code on Git if you want to take a look at that. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments. And I'll see you next time.